So I finally found the crown jewel. <laughs> I love old books and especially old gunsmithing books. And one of, one of these days I'm going to drag out a bunch of my old books and just flip through them. I know it's boring, but this one is uh, from Roy Dunlop. And I saw this one in Mark, what's Mark's last name from Anvil? Uh, the scene arsenal guy, the anvil guy, he's really cool. I like him, I like his videos a lot. And of course, I've always wanted to be a gunsmith, but I would never make it, be able to make a living at it. So I just think it's interesting and love learning uh, about the stuff. And I did, <laughs> I audited a couple of courses from SDI, and that was a lot of fun. And um, anyway, <laughs> I took some of my firearm, my firearm inventors playing cards I got from gear websites. And I marked some pages here. I just thought I would thumb through it just to give you an idea, not to spend too much time here. But where was the table of contents? Here we go. I don't know how they got a 556 page of book, uh, table of contents on one page. <laughs> that was pretty amazing. Let's see here, I'll just flip through and or scroll down and you can look, pause it if you want to. It's, this is awesome. I mean, what's really cool about these old books is that there's a wealth of knowledge just archived in them. Let me look and see what, where my pages are here. What I mark here. Oh, like these old tables. Who's that? Henry Barringer. Um, just, and this is what I mean by archival inf information. Just, you know, properties of metal. I mean, <laughs> what is it? What do we got? Modulus of elasticity here, tensile strength, uh, pounds per. I mean, a lot of this stuff. I, I learned this back when I was taking like structural classes for my you know, mechanical drawing or whatever. So the wealth of information that's in a book like this, just on metals alone, is just awesome. So what have we got here? I'm gonna mark this. Welding. Oh, these are the melting points. That was the chapter was welding. I got it. So it starts over here, melting. Another really handy uh, table. I mean, just awesome. Look at that. I mean, the thing about it is, obviously this information is on the internet, but is it all together? I guess it is. You know, usually I would look up, uh, you know, when I was learning how to hand load shotgun shells or whatever, I'd look up the melting point of lead or whatever. And, you know, it's like 600, 700 degrees or whatever. What is it? What is it? 621. Let's see what else we got here. Who's that? Scott Peterson. Uh, another cool, oh, rifling uh, dimensions. Another cool table. Just, you know, Wealth of knowledge. I may be saying that word a lot, sorry. Here. What is this? I thought I would just go through some of these cards as we, to show you what they're like too. Oh, did I like that or here? Oh, here we go. Here's one that's really handy, I, I find. I always get, honestly, I have done I have always thought of weights of, you know, bullets and grains. And it's funny because you'll notice, like, even Tau Flater Mouse will re reference a bullet weight in grams, which is odd to me. But here you can see, you know, the difference in how to convert ounces to grams or grains to grams, whatever. And uh, just really cool. Just simple tables, you know, in one in the same book, you know. I know that y'all are like, what's so exciting about this? I, <clears throat> this is the kind of stuff that I love old about old books. And here, 
They're like, well, what's this uh, about? Well, it's chamber dimensions. So they've got the round shown up here. What's 30-30? There, and then you got your chambering dimensions here. Very cool. Here's that. What else have I got marked here? Well, the center section is a lot of about, I'm doing this with one hand, sorry. About stocks, wood stocks, which, you know, me being a wood burn, a uh, wood burn, <laughs> a wood uh, maker, uh, wood worker, can I say it properly after 40 years of doing it? But it's not as interesting to me, I guess. So this whole center section here seems to be about stocks and that kind of thing, which is, you know, cool and checkering and that kind of thing. But the, uh, I don't know, I find all this other stuff a lot more interesting. And then in the back, Savage, I think they repeat some of the same tables, but all of the tables, you know, all of that is in the back. And what is this? Oh, decimal equivalents. And then, can you do it with one hand? Just, you know, a bunch of cool, yeah, converting Fahrenheit to centigrade. What else have we got here? Melting points again. This is why I think some of the tables are basically uh, repeated or they were probably just referenced in those other chapters and they're probably all back here, you know, just uh, for convenience sake. Now see, this is the kind of thing I'm a crazy guy. I would tear these pages out and hang them up on a on the wall, you know, put a piece of glass over them. That way I could just walk over to my wall <laughs> and look at my reference tables whenever I needed them. But here's here's a funny one. Surface speed of wheel in feet per minute. Isn't that cool? So awesome. Anyway, I know this might be boring to some people. But this book was in really good shape. I got it at thriftbooks.com where I buy a lot of my used books. And you can just see it's in really good shape. This book almost looks like it's been reprinted. I don't see any defects in it at all. I almost think this is some kind of reprinting. But it was uh, 1966. Like this book, it smells old, but it doesn't look... It looks like it was just printed. You know what I mean? There's, it doesn't look like, like, you know, you can usually tell when a book's been used a lot. This book has never been used. And, but anyway, I just thought it was cool. I thought I'd make a short video. And uh, now I gotta put all my cards back in order. These are cool, these Fire Inventor playing cards. G-Webs do these on, on gear, uh, you know, gear websites. Pick those up. They make good uh, bookmarks. Anyway, see you guys.